hello guys in this video uh, we are going to do the thermal analysis of uh, uh, electric solenoid uh, before starting i want to say that uh, uh, if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and uh, comment below uh, of any doubt uh, or queries that as it will help me to make new videos and tutorials for you so first we will start by dragging the steady state thermal in the project dialog now in the engineering data we will select the material which will be used uh, in the project engineering data source general material the material which will be used will be copper alloy grey cast iron and polyethylene now going back to the project we can now import the geometry of the solenoid in the stp format and now open the model Now here in the geometry we can see different uh, parts of the solenoid it is uh, in the bottom it is the bracket then the core is the inner body insulator and the coil uh, now we can select the materials for different parts uh, this is the basic uh, structure of a solenoid so in the bracket it is structural steel which is ok in the core uh, the core should be of uh, grey cast iron then the insulator insulator will be of polyethylene and the coil will be made up of copper alloy now in the mesh settings we will resize the mesh according to our ways um, generally medium and generate mesh Now click on steady state thermal and select the body, activate the body selection and select the core. Insert the internal heat generation. Uh, first uh, check that the units are in US customary. No metric uh, millimeter, it should be in millimeter watt per millimeter cube ok 0 0.001 ok now select the activate the edge selection and select all the edges except the bracket and the upper and then right click and insert convection in total there are 11 faces the film coefficient will be 0 0.00005 ambient temperature will be 25 and then select one edge of the bracket 
and insert temperature the temperature should be 25 these all, all values are approximate you can choose your own value this is just for teaching purpose then press control and select convection and temperature and drag it in the solution you will see a reaction probe and reaction probe tool in the result now uh, click on the solution and insert temperature and insert the total heat flux and solve now the results are available we can see the reaction probe value heat is equal to minus 11.9 and uh, the bracket uh, heat value is minus 32 minus uh, 0.79 in total uh, it is equal to minus 40 approximately minus 45 watt this is the theoretical value just to check that our analysis is correct we can do it theoretically and uh, now the temperature the maximum temperature is my uh, is 67.9 degree celsius and minimum is 25 degree celsius we can see the cross section this way and now the heat total heat flux in the temperature we can see it through animation in the total heat flux we can see the results through graphics option clearly here we can easily see the heat flux coming out of the solenoid Thanks for watching. Hope uh, you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel so that uh, we can make uh, more tutorials. Thank you.